Good evening, guys. Hey, um, normally I get a lot of scriptures that kind of go with these messages. I just, you know, I'm kind of a word guy. Got some. I'm just kind of still praying to see how they might fit, but that's all. Couldn't sleep. And I'm just like, okay, Lord, but I got this message started a few days ago, maybe even a week ago. Um, but the Lord just said, just get it out there. Like, okay, God. And I got up and I said, okay, Lord. You know, I learned a long time ago to just, it took a while, but over the years, more and more, just be obedient. But the message is, is it provision or is it division? What manner of spirit are we heeding to, listening to? I mean, it started in the Garden of Eden, guys. God provided everything. And the enemy was there to divide. Divide and conquer. His main goal is to divide us from the love of God, from our Father. God provided His Son because the world wasn't a mess. So don't you think He's going to provide when right now our world seems in a mess, turned upside down? Everybody's just, man, they blew up. Where, where, where did, how did we get from coronavirus to you can't go to church you gotta wear a mask and I don't wear one and I'm starting to break a little bit I can see that but I mean everybody looks at me like not everybody but a lot of people look at me like I'm a criminal Look at my post, why I don't wear one, okay? It's the spirit that's behind it. Abraham and Lot, God provided. He provided his word, his Bible, I'm just not using it. The enemy wants to divide us. The world wants to divide us. You're black, you're white, this movement, that movement, black movement, white movement, whatever. All lives matter, all lives matter. Defund the police. It's just, the list could go on and on, guys. Of what the enemy's trying to do. God, what's God doing? He's providing in the midst, when, when they were in the storm and the ship, provided calm and peace. When there's provision, there's peace and safety. You just know you're in the Father's hands. When there's division, you're just not even sure what you're doing. Double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Divisive is where the enemy's living in his camp. Or provision is where God's living in his camp. Faith. Why it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he'll direct your paths. That's where we need to get, guys. The provision's there. And so is the division. We'll be picking up. CNN, who's your source? Or is it God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word? It's some man-made, ethereal, garbage pit. Seriously. Look around most of it. <laughs> One of the preachers out there now said, you know, something to the effect that... Oh, I forget. Oh, never mind. It doesn't really fit this. So... 
Is it provision from God, the Holy Ghost, His Word, His Son, the blood of the Lamb? Sufficient for this day? Or is it division? You're not going to make it. Everybody's going to kill you. You're going to take the mark of the beast. That battlefield's in your mind, guys, a lot. In our minds. So what are we listening to? It's, I, man, it's time to just tune out this world. That's why it says the cares of this life. Don't ensnare yourselves. A good soldier doesn't entangle himself with the cares of this life. Because it doesn't matter. Because you know that's not where your life is. You know, that's not where your provision comes from. Man, if you, if you knew where, where we're at right now, it's like, man, the provision has to come from God. And it is on a daily basis. And it's not just financially, it's spiritually. It's physically. But so many different ways the Lord has just provided for my family. I'm going to go back to this because this is a really good message too, but it's part of it. Jesus feeding the 5,000 or how many ever it was. There's different people that have different theories on the math. But it was a lot. And everybody's kind of in the panic mode. Because that's what the devil does. He wants to panic and be divided. Because division brings lack of trust. Because you don't think it's gonna he's gonna take care of you. What was Jesus' response? What have we got? Pretty much, I'm paraphrasing it, of course, a little bit, but so please forgive me. If that, um, a little bit of fish, a little bit of loaves of bread. But what is what was the first thing that he did? They gathered it, brought it to him. What did Jesus do? thanked his father for the provision and watched him multiply because he knew who his dad was and he knew that the ultimate provision was there and that's what we got to be guys as a body not that they're going to lock us up throw away the key so what if they do even honestly really why well, don't wear a mask what are they going to do my provision comes I told one guy one one time I was at a big retail store and I was walking in and didn't have a mask on was months ago honestly before everybody just really went haywire with this but I had on one of my favorite shirts. I just liked it. it. It's pretty plain. It just says Jesus. It doesn't say much of anything. It says everything. But that's all it says. He looked at me and he said, where's your mask? And I looked down and I was like, what, what, what? I mean, it just like came out. Came out. I said, I'm wearing it. The blood of the lamb is more than sufficient for this day. I'm sorry, guys. You know, Facebook is becoming a trap of our brain. All this stuff. Why? Because it is wizards that peep and mutter. Look at my post on that. It's in the Bible. It's demonic. All this stuff. It, yes, we have to. We have to take this turf back. But at the same time, we have to be very, very careful. Very, very prayerful of what we do.
and how we do it because you can get I did I have I did quit posting reposting so much stuff and I still get caught up in it but sometimes it's like man it's just so annoying because it's divisive look at the political realm That's why it wouldn't hurt to just kind of tune that out quite a bit. I'm not saying don't be involved in it. That's not, so don't go that far down the spectrum. What I'm saying is we can get caught up in the divisiveness of what the enemy is throwing out there. It's bait. Are we going to take the bait? How are we going to know where our provision comes from? That manna from heaven. That water in the wilderness in Isaiah, waters in the desert, rivers of living water. Are we going to be on fire in that oasis, in that light of the world? Are we going to hide in a cave with a mask on? Yes. Here's mine, I guess. I still got it. This is just an old message, but here you go. Guys, I got a new mask. This is my fashion statement. I probably should wear this in the store. You like it? Because that's kind of what that's kind of what this is all about. It's it it's division because it's hiding. And really, what they're hiding behind it is death and destruction. So, I mean, one of the main themes hiding behind all this. Honestly, guys, I am sorry to be so so brutal about it. But it's the death. That's why do you think we have so many major issues in this country? Because of how we treat our, our unborn children. Disposable. And we just kind of like ignore it. Hogwash it bark about it Supreme Court judges and they're gonna do this man what have they done God, how do we stop this so knowing where our provision is coming from and praying well what do you have a little bit of fish a few loaves of bread what do you have you have a connection with the Father you're just not using it. You have your Bible. You have your prayer life. You have breath in your lungs. Come on, guys. The provision's there. We're just not tapping into it and using it. And I'm not, you know, that might not even be the right, right? That might not even be the right way to say it. Sorry, you know, take that off. <clears throat> Got a bad habit of my hands I'm working on that my wife gets on me I've had a couple people comment about it on YouTube too so I'm trying not to it's just um do better at it but the provisions there guys what are we gonna do with it ignore it walk away from it what the devil wants we really need to pray about it though because you need to make sure there's provision from the Lord and not division from the enemy if we want to do divide and conquer it's not just divide and conquer this country in the, in the world it's divide and conquer God's people so that we're separated from the love of Christ because the ultimate separation, guys, I'm sorry to tell it, to, to say this to everybody. A lot of y'all know it, but there is a heaven and there is a hell. And the enemy wants to divide us from God forever. A warm, fuzzy feeling message if you're on the other side. But if you're provided and know where your provision comes from, who your provider is 
You call your insurance company, or you, I mean, you call your doctor, who's your provider? Who's your provider? Today, you may not be able to pay your light bill, your water bill, or you may not even have food, or you may be victorious and on top of the mountain. We kind of get the provision piece of thinking it's all monetary. It could be your health. It could be you having a decent mind. It could be all your grandkids being good kids. Salvation in your family. There's so many things that we could be praying for and directing for and asking God for. Not to ask for <clears throat> so much. As to just be available for his direction in it because he wants to provide salvation. He provided his son, John 3 16, for all of mankind. A friend of ours, a dear friend of ours, put out a post, and you know, it wasn't, it was a good post, but it, you know, it was about the police at 9-11, how they ran, and how you really forgot. They just sacrificed, a lot of them sacrificed their lives. But we easily forget things. That was provision, guys. They were tr trying to provide some safety and security. And unfortunately, we threw them under the bus as a country, guys. Just like we're throwing all these babies out in the dumpster, kind of. Not really, I mean, not kind of, but and we're just kind of hoodwinking it. That's why God, I mean, he is very, very, it's, it's not good, guys. So, we need to be well aware of our provision so that we can be that light to the world. Now they can look to us and say, man, where everything else, all oh, hell's breaking loose all around. But you guys seem like the rock. Because we are. You are. If you're a child of the king, we have to, to know and to be aware and to stand in awe of our provider, our provision. Well, it said we can come boldly before the throne of grace. But it's through the blood of the Lamb. We, what, we have to read, start reading. Not just reading, guys. Taking in the living word into our hearts because it's provision. It's right there, guys. It's right there. We don't hardly use it anymore. A lot of it's all internet stuff. It's still around. It's actually a Bible cover that my wife got me four or five, six years ago. It's great. You know, the Bible, too. She got me the Bible a long time ago, so I kept it. And then she got me this really nice cover. So really, that could be part of the message, too. The covering. The provision that God provided. Went a way when there seemed to be no way in the desert. You tell them, go out, preach the gospel. Don't take two pairs of shoes. One preacher one time said, don't even take a toothbrush. He's just saying, go. And wherever you go, there'll be provision. What did he tell them? One 
one of the stories that go to so and so place and there'll be a cult. I forget what scriptures it is. You guys that know the Bible know the story though. <clears throat> Provision. It's there. But we're picking up the the, the division. We're all kind of honestly we're all I have been so you know we've all been kind of guilty of it. Cause it's so easy to do this Facebook garbage. This is YouTube, of course, but Facebook's just a big one, but all this social media, Instagram, and all this other stuff, and just pick up this trash and just push a button, and then suddenly you're the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Is it provision or is it division? So, anyhow, that's, you know, I'm sorry there's not a lot of scriptures to go with this. Normally that's all I put in here. But, I'm still, I have to be obedient to the Lord, so we love you guys. Um, tune in, like, dislike, let's hear what you have to say. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.